Hey guys, it's Metro, and today we are out here on the Pine Mountain Trail, about to do a 23 mile hike, and I'm not alone, as you can see behind me, there's Squidly. Hey Squidly! What's up? So we're gonna be doing 13 miles today into Beach Bottom, no big deal, but it is 30 degrees out, and it is freezing! So we're starting at mile marker 23, lots of waterfalls ahead, let's keep moving! Well, it looks like the sun is trying to peek out here. Look at those blue skies. Coming into an area, we're gonna start seeing some waterfalls pretty soon. It's gonna be awesome. All right, we just hit mile marker 22. How you feeling, Squilly? Tired, I'm ready to, I'm ready for camp. <laughs> All right, so we're coming up to our first set of waterfalls. This is Kazanka Falls. Cascade Falls, 1.2 miles, not too far from here. Bumblebee Ridge. So there's no water here at this campsite. I have to crawl down there. But we have only gone 1.6 miles. <laughs> All right, so we're taking a little break here. Two miles in, Cascade Falls, as you can see behind me. Cool place to check out. Got about 11 miles to go today. Still a long way to go. But the sun is out. It's gonna be a beautiful day. Let's keep moving. All right, so we have reached the old sawmill campsite and Squidly have an update. We have gone 2.3 miles and this is uh, the second campsite here on the PMT and look how beautiful it is. But just down here, we have another sighting on the PMT. This is Fernie, the big loblolly pine tree. Look at this bad boy. Congratulations, Squidly. You're three miles into your through hike. How do you feel? I feel like I'm three miles into a through hike. <laughs> mile marker 19. How you feeling, Squidly? I feel like we're at mile marker eight. Sassafras Hill campsite. Sassafras. All right, Wolf Den Loop, Pine Mountain Trail. Looks like WJSB. It's five miles behind us. How you feeling, Squidly? All right, we're coming up to a marker here, but it looks like the trail goes that way, but that is actually the Beaver Pond Trail. And that would not be where you want to go because it looks like that would take you to the WJSP TV tower. Looks like there's a shortcut going that way. 
Is it shorter than what we've done? Well, that's the TV tower, so that was only 1.7 miles. But for those that are new to the Pine Mountain Trail, always look for the blue blaze. You'll see a blue blaze there on the wrong trail. This is the best campsite. If you ever come to the PMT, make sure you reserve Sparks Creek campsite. As you can see, plenty of level, well, a lot of level places to camp. But you have a water source right there going down the middle. This is the ideal camp spot, Sparks Creek. All right, just checking in, letting you know where we're at if you can see in the distance maybe not with this GoPro but that's WJSP I think I said that right the TV tower it's got about 1.7 miles to go until we get to Dal Del Nob which provides the highest point on the PMT as well as some excellent views it's again a beautiful day clear blue skies looking forward to seeing it have a little lunch and then from there I think we only have a few miles to go before we get to beach bottom All right, we're at mile marker 15. What do you think, Squiggly? Feels like we've only done five. That's pretty good. So it's going the opposite way, huh? Yeah, that's right. All right, guys, so we are heading into Dowdell's Knob. Again, this is FDR. He's waiting there for us. Franklin Roosevelt, his favorite spot. Check out this view. Look at this spot. Yeah, incredible. Beautiful views. So what do you think? Good view? Yeah, it's really nice. Why are you talking like that? I don't know. My mouth's kind of stuck shut. Frozen in time, huh, buddy? Yeah, frozen in time. All right, lunch time. Check out this view. All right. Heck yeah. How you feeling, Squiggly? Better $100. $100. You know, it doesn't go very far nowadays. Well, I'm sleeping. I get some gas. <laughs> You ever had a meat popsicle? Sounds gross, right? <laughs> Frozen spam. Ugh. All right, I want to give a shout out to Leonidas on the trail. He gave me one of these. Actually, came from Tailwind. Tailwind gave it to Leonidas, and Leonidas gave it to me. Some matcha caffeinated endurance fuel, complete energy. All right. Lifetime member of the Pine Mountain Trail. So we're here, 14, and we're going here. So I have to kind of cut back. And we started here. Yeah. Yep. So we've done all that. Oh, we're doing good. Yeah. All right, so this is a photo opportunity to check out Elephant Rock here. I don't know if I see an elephant. I guess so. But I guess people would come from far and wide check out elephant rock what do you think does it look like an elephant put a comment down below all right so this is the most hated campsite in all 
of the PMT. Can you tell why? It doesn't look terribly level. <laughs> exactly. All right. So we are on yet another road crossing here. I don't remember crossing this road, do you? But we are still on the Pine Mountain Trail here. Eh, I've seen better. That sign is very confusing. So again, splitting the road, I think that's whiskey still if I had to make a guess. Let's see if I'm correct. And I am correct. Look at that. Whiskey still. And according to this, we have done 11.2 miles. All right, so you might notice we are at the backside of Senior Hiker 77's truck, and he told me he left a little trail magic in here. And I unlocked it. I knew where the secret code was, but I'm not going to tell you where it was. And inside of his truck, he has a cooler here. And he left us some chips check this out and some water if we want to re re uh re up on this but uh yeah <clears throat> all right we got some trail magic here this is golden island korean barbecue fire grilled pork snack bites and he told me he wanted me to try this out so i'm gonna give this the buckley taste test out of five stars what does this rank Salty, sweet. Got a little bit of smoky flavor to it. Got some good protein. No added MSG. I'm gonna give it a four out of five on the Buckley taste test. Golden Island, pork snack bites, Korean barbecue. All right, all right, all right. Let's keep moving. All right, so we are coming up on a landmark here. Also known as Big Papla. I love it when you call me Big Papla. <laughs> hey, I'm in a tree. What? Man, that was tough. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. Hey, I know these guys. <laughs> we got a full-blown Eskimo with us. Hello. Eskimo. Who'd you mug to get those? They warm. Gonna be real smart and put it in the tent with me <laughs> to warm up before I got out. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I burned a hole in that. Had my third time I ever used my lighting equipment. Look, oh, he's got it on video. I've been avoiding putting that on video. <laughs> Burn a hole in my lighting equipment. I got you. I got you. Yeah. All right, so Home Sweet Home has been established. This is the duplex cell. I didn't do the best job putting it up, but we got another duplex. Or sorry, the Hexamid. What's this called? Hexamid. What's this? What's, what's this called right here? Plexamid. The Plexamid, sorry. So I have a Plexamid here, a Nemo, another Lanshan Pro Four Season. That's right. Big difference, right? Yeah. How's it different again? Well, it's, it's, it's um, the only difference from the regular is you, instead of the mesh, you've got you have, um, a little block here. Yeah, it blocks all the wind out. See? Mm. You, got, you got a little mesh here and a little mesh there on the ends, and that's it. I'm starting to think that might be the better way to go. <laughs> well, it, the only problem is if it rains, it gets too heavy. No. That, that's the issue with the lawn shines. But a fair weather tent, then they didn't say anything about rain, so looks like you're good to go. Got a land stand over there, We've got a fire going. Looks like we're gonna have a good time tonight. I have run into the one, the only Taylor from 
Southern Hike. We also have Rachel here on today's trip. What is you got there? Is it the biggest gone boy? Is that the gone boy or the big this boy? Is the big boy. Oh my gosh. This thing is a winter backpacking lifesaver. Oh my gosh. So you just chopped all that in what, 60 seconds? Was yeah, that really? Super easy. It's like, whoosh, it was done, yeah, right? Super easy. Man, I tell you, that's a stack of wood, too. And hey, got, hey, look, I even got on Etsy and got me a leather. Oh, now, for now, it. now you fancy. <laughs> Because be... I, don't, I don't want it to cut my Dyneema pack over there, well, so yeah, you don't want any of that stuff <laughs> no, to get it's snagged. That's it's, exactly right. That's a shame when it. All right, guys. So this is actually something I would recommend. This is the chicken pho by Good to Go. This is actually pretty tasty. I would not recommend putting the lime packet in it because it does make it a little too tart. But this is a pretty good one. Good to go, chicken pho. Definitely recommend it. Well, we with the serious case, and in the power room. All right, so Kevin here is talking about going spelunking, man. I used to do it Take all the time. Down, they they I don't spelunk. I don't like going Spot cave them. diving. Cause that's it. Cave diving? No, no, no. That's called camera. cave yeah. dying. Yeah. When you yeah. scuba yeah. dive in a cave. Cave dying. That is so scary to me. It's going inside this location. I don't do it underwater. I'm in a cave. I'm going to go swimming. I got all the gear. I can just lower it to you. You don't take off. Nah, I ain't doing that. All right, so that was a cold one last night. Pretty cold for sure. Uh, probably dropped down to the 20s. Maybe like about 10 miles or so. Uh, but it's time to face the day. We had time change, so it's about 6 normal. I think it's 7 now because of the time change. It's time to jump on the trail. Let's keep moving. You see all the ice on the tent here. Five degrees in Pine Mountain. Twenty-five degrees, dang man. Is there water in there? Ice in there? Oh, yeah. That's frozen. It's frozen solid. Yeah. <laughs> I was worried about that. How am I gonna dump that out? Uh, you're not. You're gonna be hauling it out. <laughs> I'll leave. <laughs> which one's mine? I can't tell which one's mine. So if you're looking to personalize your food bag, Ben from Hilltop Packs, as you can see, it's very easy to determine which one's mine. Thanks, Ben. Let me see some of the ice. From up here has fallen on the quilt. Need to get that off. Man. Definitely a cold one last night. Hey, senior, did you hear that uh, Ben McMillan started making uh, clothing and facial wear? No. Yeah, it's bags are going global. It's kind of like you can design the way you want to look on trail. So if you want to promote your brand, you know, you can do that on, on your face too. That's a really good look. Yeah, man. Stuff yeah. That got your All right, in case you guys missed it yesterday, I'm hanging out here with Southern Hike, Rachel and Taylor. If you haven't seen their channel, make sure you check out their channel. They have lots of great content in terms of places to hike, but also a lot of gear reviews. Isn't that right? That's right. So what do you got coming up for 2022? A lot more gear reviews <laughs> and a few more trip videos. We're headed back out west again, too. Well, make sure you check out their channel, Southern Hike. Let's keep moving. So there's been a rumor going around, uh -oh. and I wanted to confirm some things. Senior Hiker 77 is my father. <laughs> <laughs> the results came in, and what? Kevin... What? He's my cousin. You gonna claim me? Yeah, we're, we're family. Oh, okay, we're, okay. No, no, we did the, the blood test, remember? Oh, that's right. And uh, we found out that Senior, well, he's the stud, right? So obviously he created this guy right here. So, But also, I have this in the family here. So we're all connected in the hiking community. Tramily, let's keep moving. <laughs> good to meet you. Yeah, it was good to meet you. I really enjoyed this. This was a lot of fun. Later, cuz. Bye, right, bye, cuz. <laughs> bye, son. Bye, dad. So, uh, Squidly, how are you feeling today? We're at mile marker nine. Uh, 
Well, we have nine miles to go. I feel like I got 10 in me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> One extra for the road. Okay, so if you're watching this video, you've probably seen that I'm carrying a new pack. This is the new Waymark Through Ultra. It's a brand new material that's going to be replacing Dyneema. Dyneema will still be there, but Ultra is a lot more durable in terms of its um, capabilities when you're going through uh, brush area areas or just you know general wear and tear. Uh, Waymark uh, the Through is a pack that is 40 liters. Um, it's meant for those that are keeping a relatively low base weight. Um, my base weight in today's pack is 11.5 pounds, and that includes some of my heavier gear for uh, the winter months. But during the summer, this is an ideal pack, especially since you're cutting down the weight. If you haven't heard of Waymark Gear Company, make sure you check them out. They're a great company, great products. Let's keep moving. Mile marker eight. Looking pretty good. How you feeling, Squidly? Feeling pretty good. Uh, good night's sleep. Feel like I got eight and a half in me. I'm a cowboy on a steel horse I ride. I'm a wanted, wanted, dead or alive. All right, all right, all right. We are at mile marker seven. Looks like it's getting a little tired here. Now there's not a lot of elevation climbs or I would say areas where you can fall, but this is definitely one of them. Whoa. All right, checking in with you. We're still on the Pine Mountain Trail, keeping you up to date. As you can see, we're at, that's not Fox Den. Fox Den Cove, parking lot, as you can see behind me. We really have uh, 6.2 miles to go, not too much further. Should be there in about three hours or so if we don't take a break. Fox Den Cove. All right, so we hit mile marker five, only five miles to go. And right about now is when I start thinking about the food that I want to eat when I get home or right off trail. Now for me, I know what mine is, but I'm going to ask Squidly. Squidly, what, what, what are you craving right now? What is your go-to uh, after post-trail food? Well, I have a couple of things that I uh, sort of go back and forth between, but today I am craving a big, fat, Greasy cheeseburger. Mmm, cheeseburger sounds good. In fact, I think that's on my list as well. But typically, what I like to do is to get a big fat steak, like a, uh. like a ribeye, lots of fat. Or if I get a fillet, I'm gonna get one of those Chateaubriands. They sound really fancy. It's because they're expensive fillet. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna have tonight. Is a nice big old fillet. Yum. So I was just saying to Squidly, I haven't seen mile marker four. And sure enough, it's mile marker number four. Four miles to go on this beautiful day. There we go. Prayer rock. Say your prayers, buddy. Alright, so I've been talking some really good things about this new Waymark Gear Company through pack. In fact, one of the coolest things about it is you can grab your water bottle. Now, I know I'm a little flexible, but I am also getting up there. And as you can see, water bottle access like that, come on, man. Awesome pack. Check out the through. Ultra material is awesome. So last year, making it to this point, I was falling out. The crow was like, come on, man, hurry up. We only got two miles to go. All right, all so I don't know if you can see those guys down there road walking, but in short, they have been on the Pine Mountain Trail this entire time. And we're at like mile marker, what, 20, almost 22? Yeah. So that's the final mile. 
and instead of finishing up on the trail <laughs> they're gonna yellow all right so we here we are on the pine mountain trail mile marker one only 22 miles to go we're doing a yo-yo i forgot to tell you yeah uh did you leave the yo-yo in the car <laughs> in the car <laughs> nah i'm just playing one mile left to go this is the final mile this is the longest mile as senior hiker 77 likes to to position it it feels like this is the longest mile on the pine mountain trail so if you've ever been here before you know exactly what i'm talking about this is where you can get a little careless and start stubbing your toe especially if you're walking in from mile marker 23 and i recommend it 100 percent because that way you get to go see all the waterfalls in front you get to avoid all the crowds you get all of the hard stuff out of the way so if you're going to hike or through hike the pmt i definitely recommend starting at mile marker 23 and working to mile marker zero and again we're on the final mile here making our way to mile marker zero my buddy squidly behind me this is his first through hike so he is joining the through hiker congregation he is he has earned his stripes also this is the longest hike 23 miles in one day that he has done uh ever so two two things for the books and pretty happy to be a part of that so again if you're looking to get started in longer distance hiking the pmt is an excellent place to visit to get your wings per se for those longer distance hikes just enough to challenge you and again you get some great views along the way definitely check it out let's keep moving there we go 23 miles wjsp I've completed it. Gon Farrell with Squidly is hitting mile marker zero, sharing this moment with his son on the phone. He's so excited. He has done it. Tap the mile marker, Yay! my friend. Tap the mile marker. That's right. You're looking at a through hiker. That's what's up. That's right. All now he needs some three inch shorts, a neon hat, some crazy sunglasses, and some sandals. And you're gonna be an official through hiker. <laughs> put a put a feather in my hair. Yeah, man, feather in your cap. Congratulations. Yeah, that's right. Gone Farrow Squidly. Make sure you check out his channel. Awesome time here on the Pine Mountain Trail. So if you found any value in this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and send me your comments as I do respond. As always, thanks for watching. But until next time, let's keep moving. All right, so some bonus footage. So if you can see back there, I finally got on the trail. <laughs> so down this way, you'll see those two hikers. They started before us and they got off trail and now they're yellow blazers. And as you can see back there, I'm gonna zoom in if I can. They still didn't make it. We beat them. <laughs> Keep hiking, suckers.